If you find your hearing is not up to par, it's time to visit with Tri-State Professional Amanda Bennett of Evansville Hearing Aid Center. Always good to see you. Good to see you. This is, a, you know, such an important topic for those of us who have found they weren't hearing quite as well <laughs> as they used to. And we wait so long to do anything about it. I, you know, I confess I did. So. Oh, yeah. Most people wait between five and seven years after they even start experiencing symptoms because we can do things to compensate for it, like turn the radio up, ask people to repeat themselves, things like that. So we do all those things until we really get to the point where we start embarrassing ourselves, doing <laughs> things, <a> true, <laughs> so true. doing things that, you know, you're like, okay. Um, and a lot of people also start um, not being able to hear their grandchildren. So that's something that really means something to them. So then that's when they'll start doing things. But the earlier, the better because we hear with our brains, our brains will start kicking things out permanently that hearing aids can't fix. So the earlier treatment, the better. Well, you and I have talked about this before, but, and it's a great idea. We get our yearly checkup. We were just talking about blood work, et cetera. Yeah. A hearing test on a regular basis gives you a baseline to yes. know when you, if, when you start losing. Yes, absolutely. So we um, ask everybody to come in and get a hearing test. We do free evaluations just to get that baseline so we know when things start to change. It's, it's good information because I mean I know now I come yearly mm -hmm. to have my hearing checked to see because I've been on these hearing aids for lots of years and they change. Oh yeah, yeah it changes so then we can reevaluate re your hearing aids and get you up to where you need to be so you're hearing the best you can, you're keeping that brain active so your brain's not going to kick those sounds out permanently. Well, that's interesting to think about, but you know, we talked about in the past, because I know people ask you this, do I have to wear two? If it's my left ear, do I have to wear two hearing aids? What is your answer to that? So if you have hearing loss in both ears, you definitely want to aid both ears. Um, our understanding, we hear much better with both ears. That's how our system is designed, is to hear equally out of both ears. If you only have loss in one ear, then you can get away with one, but most of the time people lose their hearing in both ears at the same time time. So just go ahead and get both. Yes, yes. Yeah, very critical to wear both hear, sure. hearing aids if you have loss in both ears. I'm sure that people ask you this question all the time. What about insurance coverage? So we're seeing more and more, especially if you have like Medicare Advantage, um, you know, they're getting some discount programs. Some have a full benefit. So you just have to call and ask because there's so many different plans. Yes. Even if my card looks like your cards, we could have different coverage. Um, even if we have what looks like the same plan, there's so many different little plans in there. So we just have to call and ask and see your benefit. But we are seeing more insurance coverage helping with hearing aids, which is great because then people are coming in wanting to do something earlier. So, I mean, we're more than glad to check for people. And Amanda, I'm seeing advertisements for hearing aid products and different like big box stores and things like that. What's the difference in what you do and what that program offers? So anything that you see on the internet, you know, the price is definitely appealing. But what happens is those aren't prescriptions hearing aids. So they are fit to some random loss, a mild to moderate loss. So most people do not treat their hearing whenever it's in a mild stage, which like we just talked about, five to seven years. So most of the time, those kind of things are not going to work. They're more like an amplifier. They can call them hearing aids because they do put some kind of loss in there, but they're not fit to your hearing loss. So most of the time, people have no success with them. Well, and, and nobody to turn to to say, I'm not, this is not adjusted or because you adjust right. it for me. Right. So there is no adjustments. I mean, besides turning it up and down from where you are um, on those ours, we can get in and fine tune every frequency to the frequencies that you have lost to how you're hearing. If you tell me something's too high pitched, we can kind of tone those down a little bit, things like that. So we can fit them to you and how you like to hear and how your brain likes to hear. She does all that. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> Evansville Hearing Aid Center, Amanda Bennett. Thanks, dear. Thank you. More lifestyles right after this. Stick around.